Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a naughty type of makeup tutorial. I decided to go with a really dark, vampy, grungy type of look with a little bit of glitter. So if you are interested to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyes first. So I'm going to start by priming the eyelids with my Tarte Shape Tape. I just found that my eyeshadows blend a lot more evenly and just more seamlessly if I do them first before my foundation. So that's what we're going to do today. So I am going to set this down with like a matte white shade. I'm going into the Sephora Pro palette just because we're going to be using this a little bit. And I think I'm going to dip into this shade right here. This is just going to set the concealer and make sure it doesn't crease. See, it's already creasing. I'm storing my life with my eyelids. I'm going to make sure to get all those creases out before you go in with the eyeshadows or else your eyeshadow is going to look a little wonky. So I'm just going in with this light neutral color. So today we are going for the naughty look of the holiday series that I'm doing up on my channel. So I think I'm going to use probably like three or four palettes with this look just to get the exact shades that I want. Um, you certainly don't have to go out and buy all of these palettes. Um, you can just use the closest colors that you have in your collection right now. That is so loud. Let me shut that door. Hopefully that's a little better. So I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette first just because I feel like her shadows, she has so many shades. It's insane. I need to get my life together, don't I? Don't I? So I'm going to go in with a fluffy crease brush. I am going in with this Wet n Wild Pro brush. So I'm going to dip in to this shade right here. And this is going to be our transition shade. It's just going to blend all the shadows together. You know, make it look nice and seamless and perfect. So I'm going to put this right in my crease and a little above it. And I am going to wing this look out a little bit. Next I'm going in with this shade right here on that same brush because I feel like this brush just blends shadows out so nicely. Oh, it's so soft. Honestly, I think I like these Wet n Wild eye brushes way better than the um, Morphe brushes that I have and I have pretty good Morphe brushes but they just don't make my eyeshadow look as seamless as it does right now so I don't know it's a new thing I love these Wet n Wild brushes and they're so worth the money and they're so inexpensive for a whole set insane so if you haven't tried these out I definitely will recommend them to you I'll leave a link down below to them if you're interested in them but I highly recommend so this is going in that crease as well, just to deepen up the look a little bit. Add some pop of red to it, since this is a Christmas look. But I definitely don't want to go above that warm tone nude that we added in the crease, just to give it that radiant effect. And then we are going to dip into a deeper red color and I'm also taking another um, eyeshadow brush from the Wet n Wild Pro Set. So we're going to be dipping into this deep burgundy right here. And this we're going to really focus in on the crease. So when we cut the crease it's very defined and very deep in red. And then also on the outer corner. And then I am going to take that brush that I applied the first two colors with and just blend out these edges. I'm not adding any product to this brush just because I want to blend and blend. So those two colors are on. Now I'm going to go in with a more precise brush. I think, I think I'm going to take 
this a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with like this deep brown right here this has a little bit of like a hint of burgundy in it so it's not completely just like a chocolate brown and then I'm also going to pop this on the outer corner just to make this look a little deeper all right so the deeper colors are on I like how it's like smoky but it's not too smoky so now we're gonna cut the crease really quickly and I'm gonna take that same tart shape tape taking a very flat tiny tiny little brush and I'm gonna take some of that concealer off of my hand and I'm also gonna have a flat brush ready to set the concealer so it doesn't crease I think I'm gonna go back into that pro palette from Sephora and I'm gonna take this shade right here So for my glitter today, I'm taking the NYX Face and Body Glitter. This is like the loose glitter. And this is the shade 08. So it's like a deeper brown shade. And I'm going to focus this right here where this white stops. So give a little bit of an illusion, add some glitter to the look, you know, spice it up a little bit. And then we're going to add a wing and then add some lashes and then the eyes are done. And then we'll move on to face. So I am taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I love this stuff. Adding a little bit to the back of my hand. So I just added it on this outer corner just to add a little bit of a sparkle to the look. Nothing too much. So it's kind of like going with the outline of the half cut crease. So I just blended it into this white shade just so it's not sh so harsh. So glitter's on. It's looking really pretty. I love how this glitter looks. So now I'm going to add a wing. And first I'm going to try the Sigma, this is their gel eyeliner in the shade Wicked, so just like a black. I'm going to try this first, and then if not, I'll go to like a liquid liner like this. So I am using the little pencil brush that came with this eyeliner. It's so tiny. Ah! <laughs> So eyes are complete, I just have to add some mascara and finish the lower lash line later. So we're going to move on to face. So for my primer today, I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this one is for the pore minimizing. For my foundations today, I'm going in with the Jouer High Coverage Cream Foundation and the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I'm going to mix these two together just to create my perfect shade because this one is a little too light. I can't seem to find my perfect shade in this and then this one is a little too like yellow and dark. So we're going to mix the two and then I am going in with a sponge per usual. I just like the way that foundations look on my skin way better when I apply them with a sponge. I just feel like they look more natural. It doesn't really get really cakey. And for my concealers, I am going to mix the Tarte Shape Tape and the Kat Von D Lock It. These are both awesome concealers. I'm just highlighting the areas that I always do underneath the eyes, the chin, Cupid's bow, nose, and forehead. And then going in with that Kat Von D.
We are all concealed and to set my face I'm going in with the Cover FX Translucent Powder and just baking my face with this. So while I let that bake, I am going to go do my eyebrows off of camera just to save some time. And then I will be back to finish the face with you guys. For my bronzer today, I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. Mmm, love this bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze my face with this. And for blush today, I'm going in with the Tarte Bazaar palette. And this has so many blushes in it. Oh my god. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Extraordinary. This shade right here. And for highlighter today, I'm going in with the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. It's very gold, champagne color, so I thought it would look perfect with these eyes. This is a very intense highlighter. Like, very intense. But that I want to be glowing on Christmas. I don't know about you guys, but in pictures and stuff, girl, I want that highlight to pop. We are going to finish the lower lash line, so I am going to take that Jaclyn Hill palette again. Can you guys tell that I obsess over this palette? I feel like every eye look that I've done has been with this palette, but I just can't help it. Like, especially with this eye look, look how many reds there are. It's literally perfection. So I'm going to take this fluffy brush from Wet n Wild, and I think I'm going to take this red right here. We're going to keep it real red around the eyes. And then to smoke this out even more, I'm going to take a black eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade black, right? Black. Blacker. And I'm going to apply this on my lower waterline and then smudge it out with a deeper red. Alright, the eyes are looking smoky! I love it! So now to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. To finish off the look, I'm going in with the Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in the shade... I have no idea how to pronounce the name of it, so I will leave it down below. And this is just like a very deep and vampy red. It will look perfect with this eye look. I'm obsessed. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to make sure that this lasts all day and all night long. Alright guys, and this is the completed naughty makeup look for the holidays. So I am completely obsessed. I love this makeup look. Oh my goodness. It's so deep and vampy and just so sexy. Oh, I love it. Honestly, I might wear this for Christmas just because I... I'm totally feeling it. I love the little pop of glitter. I love the liner. I love the radiant effect of the eyeshadow. I love the deep vampy red lip instead of like a bright red lip. So I just think this came out very good. I'm 100% blown away with how it looks right now. I'm obsessed. 
so I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup tutorial and I hope some of you guys actually do this makeup look on Christmas. I would love to see your pictures. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love this little naughty makeup look and subscribe to my channel to join my S squad and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!